Hi, Mark Romero here. Welcome to another very important episode of the Harmonize Your Life podcast, where every week we bring you some music, some mindset, some energy transmissions to help raise your energy, to help lift you to new heights so that you can live a more empowered life and get in touch with this magnificence that's within each and every one of us. You know, right now we are in definitely very interesting times. It's so funny because last week, my mom calls me. She lives up in Idaho. And she goes, you know, oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I go to Costco and all the toilet paper, everything's gone. She, I, she said some other things too, which I'm not going to repeat on the video. But, you know, it, it was surprising. The same day Lara comes back from Costco here and, oh, they're out of all this stuff and everything. And, you know, it's like right now there's such a heavy, dense frequency of fear and anxiety and how can we create from that space? How can we leverage from that frequency range of fear into something uh, more transcendent, into something that's going to lift us to new heights? How can we leverage that experience to help remember who we are? Because let me tell you something. You are so much more than fear. You are so much more than worry. You are so much more than all the craziness that's going on in the world today. So what if there was a way for us to raise ourselves to a new station of possibility? You know, if you think about it, you know, it's a little, I love the old AM, FM radio dials where you had 88.5 on one end and 108.5 on the other. And you've got all these frequency ranges of possibilities of what you can tune into. And we live in a world that's broadcasting at 88.5. You know, fear, worry, you know, all the political stuff, everything that's going on. Uh, you know, people are so caught up in it. I can tell you right now, you can't create an extraordinary life operating from that frequency range. You can't break through into your divine essence and potential living in that space. So... In all of your power, and all of your grandeur, right here, right now, are you ready to move into a new station of possibility? Are you ready to tune into some higher vibrational frequencies, some different radio stations of possibility, and to transcend everything that's being broadcasted at 88.5? Because by being caught up in what's all that's happening there, you're stuck in it. You're susceptible to it. See, I believe this, and certainly been in this work of doing energy work for a long time, you know, you don't have to live at 88.5, and that there are technologies and things evolving into the planet today, and things that you can do internally within yourself, which I'll share in a moment here, where you can start tuning into new stations of possibility. And let me tell you something, right now, more than ever, we need to tune into new stations of possibility. And that really requires us to be our authentic selves, to get in touch with who and what we are and our power. I remember years and years ago, Dr. Jones, who was the gentleman from NASA who discovered really my gift uh, being able to harmonize disharmonious energy. We sat down at lunch one day and you know he started going off on a tangent and he was telling me about the media. And this is you know over 10 years ago. And he said, let me tell you something. Humanity, this is what he said. Humanity is extremely powerful and creative. We are divine source energy experiencing his and herself. And we've been blessed with this wondrous ability to shape and shift matter and energy and create our lives in any way that we desire. And we've come here to experience ourselves. He said, but we have this ability to be able to combine our visions with emotion and feeling and energy and shape and shift the world around us. He said, unfortunately, the media today perpetuates fear, lack, not good enough, all these different frequencies and basically are manipulating us to create a certain reality. And at the time I heard this, I'm like, oh, okay, man, Doc must have done some serious drugs back in the day, you know, because back then I was watching, hey, man, Brian Williams, ABC News, thinking you know, I'm getting my dose of reality. And now I kind of look back, I say, you know what, maybe Doc wasn't so crazy after all. Maybe he really did have a tremendous insight. And that's one of the first challenges I really want to bring up is turn the stuff off. Why are you watching 
things that are creating fear within yourself. Turn it off. If you want to transcend this, if you want to boost your vitality, boost your immune system, boost your health, your energy, quit feeding yourself fear and things that are going to shut you off. Because that's what the news and the media does. But yeah, here we are watching, thinking we're getting reality. No, you are getting a perception of reality. And in some ways, like the doc said, I kind of believe it. We're being manipulated to create a certain frequency range, to create a certain output. We're the ones creating our world, not anybody else. And so for this week, I really want to challenge you. Turn off the news. Get off the damn social media. Quit looking at that stuff. And start tuning into something different. Instead, why don't you go searching on YouTube for videos that are going to inspire you and lift you to new heights. Go tune into things that are going to remind you that you are divine, unlimited expression of divine source energy. And that you are here to reflect all of your grandeur, all of your beauty, all of your talent, all of your awesomeness into the planet and to have the experience of living that. You are not meant for fear. Enough is enough. And the only person that's going to change this is you and me. So that means we got to unplug from all that stuff that's going to bring us down, that's going to keep us locked into 88.5, where they're broadcasting fear and mayhem 24-7, and start tuning into some other possibilities. So rather than spending all your time sliding on this thing, looking at all the latest doom headlines, Put it down, turn it off, close your eyes, breathe, and tune into what's within you. Tune into possibility. Tune into your hard space. That's the answer. That's what's going to lift us above this thing. And tell you right now, I'd rather tune into 102.7 or 103.5 or 108.5, whatever's broadcasting there of joy, bliss, happiness, possibility, unlimited potential. That's what we all have the ability to tune into. You are the master of your energy. Take responsibility for that. Turn off the stuff that's going to bring it down. Step into feeding yourself inspirational books, poetry, different things. I was just looking at this little picture. I've had this here forever. And it's a quote from James Allen, As a Man Thinketh. It was a beautiful book that was written back in the early 1900s. I mean, this stuff is not new, what we're talking about. It's been going around. It's been recirculated, but I love this. It's called The Vision. The vision that you glorify in your mind. The ideal that you enthrone in your heart. This you will build your life by. This you will become. So I'm going to challenge you and ask you, what are you glorifying in your mind right now? What are you enthroning in your heart? So step number one to transcending out of this frequency range is to start feeding yourself some positive things. Turn off all the negative stuff. Start tuning into some new things. If your friends are all talking about fear and mayhem, hey, remove yourself. You don't have to hang out with them. Go out in nature. Breathe the air. Feel the sun upon your skin. Be in gratitude for all the blessings in your life. You are so much more than anything that's broadcasting at 88.5. And now it's more important than ever that more and more of us step into this and tuning into these higher frequencies or different radio stations and really start creating something, something magnificent. So what are you enthroning in your heart? What are you focusing your mind upon? Now is the time. So I wanted to just kind of do a little energy transmission, something I don't normally do during videos. But you know what? I really have gotten this recently. I've been able to do this work for 10 years. And typically, I'm just known for the guitar and playing music and doing energy work through music. But there's so much more that because of my own fears and reservations, haven't been willing to step forward and express out and to support people with. So we're going to do a little energy transmission. And because I figure, you know what, at this time and space, with where we're at in the world, we can't allow our fears to hold us back from being all of who and what we are. How many of us are doing that? So many. Stop that, please. I had to say this to myself. I didn't say it as nicely either. 
you know, come on, reflect your authenticity, shine your light, be who and what you are, tune into this. So what I invite you to do is just close your eyes. Take some nice deep breaths. Really center your attention here. All of your awareness. Those little thoughts show up. Just come back to this space. And just breathe. Just breathe. We'll play a little music. Send a little energy to kind of tune things up. And help you get in touch with who you are. Because who you are is a divine expression of life, of love, of possibility. And the more and more that you tune into that space, the more that you lift yourself to new heights, to new possibilities, above all of the negative influences that are in the environment today, and tap into that space where your true power comes from. So just take a deep breath. Feel into that place. And if you have any fear, paranoia, reservation, whatever, just breathe it out and let it go. Deep inhale. Let it go. It doesn't have to rule you. Take another deep inhale. again just gently bring your attention right here to this space your heart and just for the next few moments of quiet just breathe Take another deep breath. Let it go. You are a beautiful expression of life. You're made up of the same energy that set this amazing universe in motion. You are so much more than all of the craziness that's going on in the world today. In fact, within you is the inherent ability to not only transcend it, but to lift those around you to new heights above all of this. It's time to tune into a new station of possibility. And in some way, in some essence, we're kind of like the knobs. You know, let's turn it. So let's amp up those feelings of love, of courage, of 
self-love, of compassion. And let's amplify that out through our experience. So once again, a couple steps. Turn off the media. Step away from it. If it's not feeding your soul with possibility and enthusiasm and passion, turn it off. Unplug from it. Step two, feed yourself with stuff that's going to lift you to new heights. Go on there. Look for inspiration, motivation. Do searches for positive stuff that are going to lift you up. Play some nice music. Play something that's going to lift your spirit to a higher level. And number three, man, get out in nature. Breathe. I don't care if you got snow on the ground. Get out, feel the chill on your face, maybe the sun. Just breathe through it. And remember who you really are. Because you truly are a divine, beautiful expression of life, of possibility. And now more than ever, it is essential for us to step into that for ourselves. So thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Take on this week. Hold that higher frequency. Tune in these new stations of possibilities. You are the master of your universe. Take on that mantle today and hold this space through the week and shine your beautiful light because that is what's going to take us to new heights. Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in. Love to hear your comments below. In fact, I'd love to hear how you're shining your light, how you're bringing your true authentic self forward and expressing it into this world. Make your declarations of what you're stepping into this week. Write them down, share them, put them in the comments. There's something powerful about that. The answers are within each and every one of us. Tune into this space and you'll be amazed at what shows up for you. Thank you again for taking the time to tune in. Have a very happy, harmonious, and a day filled with possibilities.